So this should be a pretty interesting one. I don't know how I'm gonna do this, but we shall see. We shall see. So I had a delivery at Walmart yesterday and one of the pallets was rejected because one of the boxes on the pallet was leaking. Literally it was only one case of product that was leaking, but Walmart decided to reject the whole load. So now, I waited for some hours, and now dispatch wants me to dispose of the product. And it's a whole case, a whole pallet of product. So this should be pretty interesting. Yeah. So literally just one, one case was leaking, which is this one, and they decided to reject the whole pallet. Everything else is good, all the other product is good, but because this one case of product is leaking, Sam's Club, Walmart, whatever you wanna call it, same company, they rejected the whole pallet. Dispatch reached out to the broker, Broker said, you can dispose of it. Wow, and this is pretty heavy. So now, I gotta figure out somewhere to drop all of this crap. Should be fun. Should be fun. Yeah. So the hard part done, I guess the hard part. Now I gotta figure out somewhere to take this. Try to take it to a local disposable yard. They said they'll unload it, but it has to be stacked to the back. So we'll see how this go. This is the part they don't tell you about trekking. 
This crazy right here. I got all of the the leaking product out the truck. Y'all see I kept some of it over there too. It's basically some disinfectant spray. So I'm gonna keep some of it. So when I go take a shower at Pilot, I can clean the doorknobs and the door handles and uh, the shower handles and stuff like that. I'm gonna put this in a spray bottle. And then when I go take a shower, I'm gonna spray off the handles and the knobs and all that stuff. So it actually came in handy. I'm gonna go show y'all the aftermath. So, uh, I'm gonna go sweep my tray lot too. I got this broom. If you're a rookie, it's probably good to get a broom or something you can always sweep your truck and your tray lot with. Just some advice for some people. But basically, I had uh, two ladies stop by. You know, it's always women want something. Shout out to the women. Two ladies stopped by and uh, helped me take some of the stuff out my truck. Good thing I was at a rest area. If you go to a rest area and leave your trailer open, people get super nosy. I had people just literally stopping and looking to see what I was doing. But two ladies stopped and uh, came and got some of the product out the truck, a lot of it. And then I had a dude, an older guy stop, came and got some. And the guy that works at the rest area that, he, that rides around on the golf cart, he came and got some of the disinfectant spray. He was pretty cool. He said he could use it to clean up the rest area. And he told me when I'm done, I could take those boxes and put them in a the dumpster. He said I could take the boxes and put them in a the dumpster and put this pallet on the side of the dumpster. Let me show y'all that right quick. So it's a little dumpster down there. I'm not sure if y'all can see it's a little dumpster right there, down there. I'm gonna go take these boxes and take them to the dumpster down there. And I'm gonna take that pallet, take it to the dumpster down there. But yeah. Uh, it took about maybe two, three hours. I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't even counting. I was just trying to get it done. And uh, this said so they gonna pay me like layover and stuff like that because it was a lot. But I'm not the type of I'm not the type to complain. I got tired of sitting around, anyways. Some people probably like I would never do that, but I'm somebody that don't mind putting in work. I'm not a complainer, first and foremost. I never really try to complain about situations. I just try to make the most of it or the best of it so it definitely wasn't easy at all i'm dumb sweaty i gotta leave here go to pilot take a shower but i'm gonna do that later on once i get done cleaning this trail out but yeah empty the boxes out empty the pallet out got the product off the truck kept some of the product so I can clean, gaze some away. Now that's handled. I'm gonna sweep this trail out because I'm not sure if everybody, anybody that I know, a lot of people might not know this, but I have a reefer trailer. So you have reefer and you have dry van trailers and flatbed too, but mostly reefer and dry van trailers. So when you pull in reefer trailers, you get a lot of frozen product, meat, Frozen goods, they kind of they kind of very strict about your trailer. They want them to be washed out really good or clean. Not all the way too clean, but they don't want them to be like super dirty. So I done had to get my trailer washed out a couple times. And a couple times I just grab the broom and go back there and sweep if it ain't too dirty. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. But yeah, if you're thinking about getting into trucking and you're gonna pull a reefer, meaning that you're gonna have a refrigerator on the back of your trailer or in the front of your trailer a lot of places are kind of picky they want your trailer to be clean because they're putting product frozen product on your truck sodas beer meat food dairy products so they want the trailers to be kind of clean if you got a dry van you don't have to really worry about that because you're going to be putting stuff that ain't got to be frozen so that's the major difference for anybody that might not know that but yeah, man, today was definitely a different one. Definitely not an easy day to day. But, you know, every day ain't gonna be sweet. You gotta take it how it come and keep pushing. So that's what we gonna do. I'm gonna finish sweeping this tray lot best I can. This crap is kinda dirty. This trailer is kinda dirty. 
I actually just had a load too, so. But yeah, I'm gonna finish sweeping this tray lot and get back with y'all somewhere on the next video. Till next time, let's get it. Yeah, let's go.